hi guys you're welcome back to yet another tutorial video if you're new here you are most welcome my name is chinua gg for short and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for always coming back in today's tutorial guys i'm going to be showing us detailed cutting like every single step that is involved in the cutting of this very beautiful elegant classy dress that you can see right on your screen if this video is the one you're interested in please stay back for last and continue watching and do not forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so also do not forget to give this video so i'm going to be using this crepe fabric and then this african print this is the main fabric i'm going to be using for the body of the dress that's the wrap dress and then i'm going to be using this for the pleated area so i have two yards of crepe and then half yard of the african print so i place this on fold into two i'm going to start with the back so as you can see i now have it folded into two like so and the width from here to this point is i'm going to be using the fullest part what i mean by the fullest part of the body is this for some people their hip is more than their bust and for some other people their bust is more than their hip so in any in any which case if it is the, your bust that is more than your hip then you are going to be using the bust as the fullest part it is in no way compulsory that it's going to be the hip measurement that you are going to be using to make do your division okay if it is the bust that is the fullest part because some people have that kind of a shape so you can't neglect that you use the bust and if it is the hip then you use the hip but in this case we have the hip as the fullest part of the body so from here to here is the hip measurement divided by four plus one seam allowance that's the width i have from here to here so i'm going to iron it out now so that it can give me a perfect layout and now that i have it ironed out i'm going to be taking out these edges so i have this as the point where all my measurements vertically are going to be taken now to get the length of this dress remember we have a pleat attached to it so you're not going to be using the exact dress length that you want you remove the length of the pleat that you'll be attaching to it so the length the actual length for this person is 38 inches and I'm going to be using 34 inches for the main dress and then 4 inches for the pleats, okay? So I'm going to be using 38, 34 inches here plus 1 inch seam allowance. That's one half inch at the shoulder area and then half inch for the attachment of the pleats to the dress. So I'm going to be using a total of 35 inches for the length of the dress. I hope that is well understood. So from this point to this point is the length that I want to use, which is 35 inches. And next, I'm going to be marking out all the vertical measurements. That is the armhole length, the breast point, the under bust, the shoulder to the hip, and of course the dress length that we already have. I'm going to be using armhole length of 9.5 inches. And the breast point is 11 inches plus half inch, which is 11 and half. The under bust is 15, one quarter plus half an inch, that's 15 three quarter. Then the half waist length is 18 inches plus half an inch which is 18.5 and then the shoulder to the hip length which is 27.5 plus half an inch to give us 28 okay then coming to this upper part of the dress i'm going to mark out the shoulder measurement i'm going to be dividing the shoulder measurement by two plus one inch so i have 15 inches for the shoulder measurement divide by two which is 7.5 plus one inch which is 8.5 so i mark out the shoulder measurement all the way to the armhole length so i have this as the armhole length and then i have my armhole curve so remember this is my armhole length and after that i'm going to be marking out the neck width and the neck depth remember this is the back i'm going to be using the neck width of three inches and the neck depth of two inches and then i connect both points together and then coming down to this side of the fabric I'm going to be dividing the body circumference measurement by four plus seam allowance and in this case i'm going to be using just one inch for the seam allowance and the bust measurement here is 38 inches divided by four will give us 9.5 plus one inch which will give us 10.5 so we have it 10.5 here then at the under bust round after it's one inch is divided by four will give us seven three quarter plus one inch will give us eight three quarter and then at the waist i have 30 inches divided by 4 give us 7.5 plus 1 inch give us 8.5 and then coming over to the hip area the hip is 39 inches divided by 4 would give us 9 3 quarter plus 1 inch we have 10 3 quarter okay and then coming down to the length of the dress i'm going to be taking out half an inch or whatever i have at the hip at the hip area remember the hip area gave us a total of 10 3 quarter and then coming here if i take out half from it is going to give us 10 one quarter okay but if you don't mind if you want it as free as possible just use whatever whatever you have at the hip just bring it exactly down here but just because i want it a little bit you know 
shape you that's why i'm doing this so this is exactly how you go about it and then i'm going to be connecting all the points together to the armhole area sorry guys i'm going to be connecting all these with my free hand this is because i know that so many of us do not have a curve rule so i'm going to join the no curve rule gang this time around i'm so sorry about that so this is what we have at this armhole area i come down by three quarter of an inch and then at the neck area i mark i come out by half inch i'm going to be connecting this point to this point and here we have our shoulder slant so i'm going to be cutting along all what we have here right now hmm don't you think you should consider subscribing if you haven't subscribed up to this moment how can you watch up to this point without subscribing thank you so guys this is what we have for the back part of the dress so i'm going to be using this to now cut the front overlapping area so i get the remaining part of the fabric and i place over like so i fold into two again before i get the back part of the dress on the front i'm going to be explaining the width of this front to us for the front the width we have here the hip divided by four plus one for the front you can add as much as five inches to six inches to the front because of the overlapping aspect of the dress okay. so let me place the back on the front to see how many inches i have left so having placed the front on the back at this moment i'm going to be measuring out okay i have about five inches extra so i have five inches all the way which is very okay this so this aspect is just going to serve the purpose of the overlapping area of the dress i'll just come down to this under bust. i'll extend just mark out this extension to the front part so i just come here and just give a mark i also give it a mark at both ends and at this point that i marked i just come up by one inch and then come down again by one inch the one inch above and below the under bust give us like a c curve at the curve area because we don't want it pointed because if you look at the picture it is not pointed in any way so the one inch is going to help us make it you know more curvy than pointed and then coming to the neck area i just mark out the neck area on the front fabric as well you can see raising raising the back part you can see this we have the width of the neck at this point this is the front and at this point i'm going to be cutting out the shaping at the side before i take out the back pattern and then concentrate on the um, curvy area of the front so at this point i just raise the back pattern and then I connect the neck of the front to this one inch above the under bust line. So here we have the connection from the neck to this point. And then I'm going to be connecting this point to this point. But before I do that, let me take out the back pattern. So I have this. And then at this point, I'm going to be marking five inches from the side like so. So I have five inches marked out. So this is where this point is going to be connecting to this point. That's the curved area. You can use your free hand to do your curving or you can use your curve rule. In case you do not have any, like I would always say, like there is no, no big deal about it. Use your hand and just get your curving done, okay? So I'm going to be cutting along this part. You can see this part, it's not pointed. That's why I came up by one and then I came down by one so that we can have it you know curved here and not pointed we don't want it pointed we want it curved like so once you get to that five inches if it's looking sharp you just curve it out as much as possible okay this is what we have for the front and then we place the back on it let's see what we have I'm not stitching yet but i'm just showing you exactly what you should expect by the time we start stitching by the time you overlap the front on each other just make sure that the width you have is enough to contain the back so you can see we have the exact measurement we have for the back also at the front so for the front i get the two parts of the front and then i notch the under bust area because that is where our pleating is going to start all the way down so i notch it so that it gives me an identification of where my pleat is going to start because the pleat is not you know covered all the way to the upper part you just have it at the lower part of the dress so i'm going to be taking out the back and the front part so that i can cut both the pleats and then the sleeves of the dress so here i have a length of 25 inches for the sleeves and then i fold over to get the width of the sleeves and the width of this sleeve we have the width of nine and a half inches because by the time you measure the armhole round this should be enough 
and then to mark out the sleeve proper from the top part of the sleeve i come down by four inches right so this from here to here i have four inches and then i come to the center fold area of the sleeve i come out by 1.5 inches right so and then i connect these points in such a way that it is not straight can you see how that went all the way like this and then like this it is not just straight like this you have to pay attention to your sleeve in case you do not know how to cut your sleeve we are not going to be using the exact band at the wrist area this is because it is an elastic it has an elastic on the wrist so we are going to be adding some inches to what we have at the wrist area at the wrist measurement so the actual wrist measurement for this person is eight inches which when divided into two will give us four inches but because this has an elastic we are going to be adding as much or as little as we want depending on the look we want to achieve i'm going to be adding an extra three to four inches from here to here i have it as eight and then i connect this point down to this point so here is what we have for our sleeves i'm going to be cutting out along what we have marked out like i said earlier this is what i'm going to be using for the pleated area so i'm going to be cutting that out now but remember the length for the pleat we're already taking it out from the dress length and we had four inches so i'm going to be adding half inch to the length of this one so i should be having 4.5 inches for the length of the pleat so i cut along this so i'm going to be cutting this as much as i can to get the length that would cover for the curved area of the dress and i slit this open because i'm going to be using another fabric to turn it over if you are going to be folding the edge if you are going to be hemming the edge of your pleat then make sure you add up to one inch to the length but because i'm going to be turning it under fabric that is why i added only half to the length of the pleat so i'm going to be cutting this as much as i can until i have the length that's going to cover for the whole um, area i want it covered on the dress i think all that i have here should be enough for the pleat and so i'm going to be joining these ones all you know to give me a straight a strap and then i also cut out there in the interfacing for it and then i'll show us exactly what it looks like before i proceed to the body of the dress so this is what i'm going to be using for the belt so i just cut out a straight piece like so i'm going to be using two of these so i'll be using these two pieces for the belt and this is what we have as the outcome for this dress please see you in my next video where i'm going to be showing us how to stitch this dress from start to finish thank you for watching